Hello and welcome to Microchip's Memory Technology Series. So what does random access mean? In the integrated circuit memory world, it means the world, at least to us nerds. And in this short video, we will explain RAM, step through this memory tree, and point you at specific videos that cover different memory types. We'll also show you relative cost of these different memories. Okay, let's get started. Random access memory has two defining traits. First, you can jump around in the memory space using addresses. You can write new data up here at address 1,024, and then you can send a new address command and immediately read what is down here at address 288. You can also pick any starting address and then read or write sequentially from that point. Stop when you want and jump to a different spot and do it again. The second trait of random access is that writing new data into a certain address can be done just as quickly as reading the data from that address. In other words, from the microprocessor or microcontroller's perspective, the timing to erase and overwrite is the same as the timing to just read the data at any address. We call this trait symmetrical read and write. In NAND and NOR flash memories, EE prompts, which are not random access memories, the physics of erasing and writing over the last content can take lots of time, often much, much longer than the read time for that same address. This gets us to our memory tree. This first branch is random access. Notice that NAND flash, NOR flash, EE prom are not random access memories. In the worst case, these technologies erase write times can be thousands to tens of thousands times longer than their read times. This second branch here is non-volatile. Non-volatile memories don't lose data when power goes away. SRAM and DRAM, though lower cost, lose all content when the power is lost. So they're called volatile memories. Speaking of cost, this chart takes a shot at cost per bit, but only to show you how the costs relate to each other. NAND flash is cheapest by far. DRAM and NOR flash have similar costs per bit at their best relative density points, then SRAM and then EEPROM. And at the highest price points on this chart are the non-volatile RAM products. A design engineer's goal is to use the lowest cost memory solution that meets their need and only use these more expensive memories when the application must have that function. Generally speaking, NAND flash holds large content, pictures, large databases. NOR flash holds boot code. DRAM holds large working files like Word and Excel. SRAM holds the microcontroller's functioning data and non-volatile RAM they hold small data logs and step journals, things like that. No product remains in the market unless it has value. So all these product types bring value. Here are some topic related videos. Each are about five minutes. We've made them to explain these technologies and these values. Please note that Microchip doesn't sell all these memory types as standalone ICs. So our videos are only offered to help educate and get you started. Just type in what is FRAM or MRAM or whatever looks helpful, then look for videos with the microchip logo. Our hope is that these tools will help you quickly learn specifics about various memory technologies, terms, and other memory concepts.